Welcome to Divine Femme TV. My name is Sarah Rose and it is an honor and a blessing to be able to to serve the courageous souls that are part of this collective awakening into heart-centered unity consciousness. So that being said, if you're listening to this on the podcast, I would love it if you leave a review and consider joining us over on YouTube at Divine Femme TV, where you can connect, leave comments, and I personally try to respond to as many of those as possible. This message is for Divine Feminines that find themselves stuck in disempowering cycles of people-pleasing, codependency, putting yourself last, um self-sacrificing, compromising your values, you know, overgiving to others, and most importantly, chasing the love that you seek, right? Chasing, the, chasing love, the love that you crave. And so obviously, if you've met your twin flame or divine counterpart on this journey, this abandonment wound gets triggered early on at that first round of separation and some divine feminines go through multiple rounds of separation and others will find this after decades of going through these disempowering cycles everybody's journey is unique so take it how it resonates but at some point on this journey in order to awaken to your feminine power and really embody your divine feminine essence you have to be uh, willing to look at the feminine shadow and the feminine shadow is rooted in powerlessness and fear-based consciousness. And it is powered by this fear of abandonment and fear of rejection. This core wound of unworthiness that needs to be healed within the feminine heart, within the feminine collective. And the, the divine feminines that, that will be resonating with this, that this message is for, are for those that have come from very traumatic upbringings and have gone through a certain degree of trauma um, and you are here to break these cycles of ancestral trauma so not just what's occurred in this lifetime but what's occurred in your lineage over um, over lifetimes is culminating in this incarnation for you to break the cycle. You are the breaker of the chains that bind you to this disempowered version of yourself, right? You are your ancestor's dream. And so part of this is recognizing where you are operating from your feminine shadow. And obviously when your divine counterpart rips off this band-aid and you go spiraling into a uh, dark night of the soul and the, all of the obsessive thinking and then desperately trying to fill that perceived void that you feel within and that abandonment and rejection that you're feeling at a deep soul level... Uh, the first thing that your egoic mind wants to reach for to fill that void is your divine counterpart. And so then you go down this rabbit hole of obsessing, whether that's, um, whether you're out there physically trying to do something about it or just ruminating about it in your mind or in your energetic field, it's all this, it's all the same. And so you go through this period of obsessing because the egoic mind wants to fill that perceived void, uh, but it wants to do it while avoiding the, avoiding the shadow, avoiding the, you know, the underlying pain and hurt and abandonment and betrayal and, and suffering that you've suppressed or repressed throughout this lifetime and, and previous lifetimes. And so this incarnation is where the rubber hits the road. You wouldn't have met your twin flame otherwise. You, again, are here to break the ancestral trauma. You are the one in your lineage that is breaking this cycle. And that means being willing to face the shadow, being willing to see 
the underlying patterns and conditioning that you're operating from that are perpetuating these disempowering cycles. And then doing something about it. And this is where integrating your sacred masculine energy is key. Because your sacred masculine energy, your inner masculine, is the protector, is the courageous action taker, is the one that's, that is creating the sacred space for your feminine essence to blossom. So your sacred masculine energy is the one that, that, that sets and honors healthy, self-honoring boundaries and that takes courageous action on those. It's your sacred masculine energy that has the courage to say yes when you mean yes and no when you mean no and draw that line in the sand of what you're available for and what you're not available for. So the onset of this journey is very much about taking your power back, awakening to your feminine power and reclaiming your sovereignty, your divine sovereignty as a divinely worthy woman and no longer seeking outside of yourself for the external validation that you feel you need to complete you. That inner void that you feel when the band-aid is ripped off of that core wound when you enter your initial separation from your divine counterpart, this is the very, very starting point of you being able to take your power back. First, there's a lot of suffering on this journey. Anybody that knows the twin flame journey knows that it's not rainbows and butterflies. There's deep suffering on this journey because you will face all of the uh, places within yourself where you are in division. And you will face the dark shadow aspects of self and you will face your feminine shadow in order to alchemize it. The more you run from doing this work and, and, and coming inward to face your own feminine shadow and take full responsibility for your life and for the cycles that are repeating in your life to the degree that you avoid that by running from it and seeking the solution outside of yourself, thinking that if you could just get your divine counterpart to come be with you or, or whatever, that's obviously the first band, that's the first it, that's the first choice of the egoic uh, mind after this separation phase occurs. You almost, you move into this addictive energy where you're desperately trying to, to feel better and you're desperately trying to heal uh, this, this, this pain that you're feeling and it's like an addiction and the drug of choice is your twin flame, but you'll also be seeking this out in other areas of your life as well, whether that be, um, you know, success or money or a new career or uh, a fancy car or having to look a certain way or whatever. There's other areas of your life that will become obvious to you where you are still seeking, you know, external validation outside of yourself and that will all unfold organically. But, if you are still in the cycle of chasing love outside of yourself and seeking something outside of yourself to fill the void within, thinking that that's going to make you feel better, what you're doing is perpetuating your suffering. And the suffering and the disempowering cycles will continue for years or decades or a lifetime until you're willing to begin the journey home to yourself and make this journey truly about what it is, which is your ascension, which is you coming home to the love that you are and the divinity within you and becoming whole and complete within you, no longer divided, full inner union. And only when this occurs will your reality begin to reflect something different to you. Remember, your twin flame is just a mirror. It is your soul in another body reflecting back to you what you need for your own soul growth. And they will reflect back all the, the love that you are, the unconditional love that you are. And they will also reflect back your shadow 
and you will do this for each other because this is the the one soul's journey right this is your soul's journey it's being played out between two apparent physical bodies but this is your soul's ascension it's not rainbows and butterflies it's not meant to be um looked at as a romantic connection and treated that way um like a soulmate connection or something like that and the more you treat it that way the more you will suffer so the first two essential pieces of taking your power back is getting to know and getting really intimate with your feminine shadow and integrating your sacred masculine energy in order to create the safe space for your feminine essence to blossom from within. The feminine desperately desires to feel safe. And if you don't feel safe within your body, if you don't feel safe, you know, because of the, you know, the, uh, the, the cycles of trauma and things that you've been in, then this is part of the process, right? This is going to entail a, a re conditioning of your nervous system and coming home to your body and truly entering this deep love and acceptance of self, like unconditional acceptance, unconditional love for self. And so the very onset of this journey is very much an empowerment journey. Yes, this is an ascension journey. And yes, it's going to, for many, kickstart your kundalini awakening. And so there's going to be a lot of energetic shifts and purification going on over the course of the next several years. It's not something that just happens instantaneously. So purification of the various chakras um, is going to be part of this process. And, you know, processing what I refer to as your sacred rage within of everything that you've been suppressing that's naturally going to come to the surface as well during this process as you enter into the initial stages of your heart awakening. And the initial stages of the heart awakening is, is kind of like the, the portal into unity consciousness and living from this new earth energy being able to um wake down into the love that you are and live from your heart centeredness and so this is a process awakening to your heart centered uh consciousness your unity consciousness oneness consciousness whatever you want to refer to it living from and as your divine presence and fully, fully actualizing it and embodying it requires a purification process, a deepening into this as all of the different sh um, shadows are alchemized and the, the fragmented aspects of self and the places that you've been rejecting or suppressing all get integrated so if this is resonating um, and you want support and guidance on your journey I welcome you to enroll into embody the Empress this is my divine feminine embodiment membership and it's month to month cancel at any time no long-term commitment and at the time of this recording i'm happy to announce that there is a a free three-day trial so you can go ahead and just check it out um, for free for three days and there's so much included in that membership so if this is something that resonates with you and you want guidance on that feel free to check that out at the link that's provided um, where you're listening to this and i can also share with you a free master class called Awaken Your Feminine Power. And many divine feminines have said this is the most healing master class they've ever attended. It's completely free. Um, it's a full hour deep dive into integrating your awakened feminine and sacred masculine essence and energy and also 
beginning to heal this core feminine wound of unworthiness and shining a light on the shadow. So if this resonates, then definitely check out the free master class as well. And until next time, I hope this finds you well. Namaste.